What's up, Wildcats? It's Ravit, and you're watching the Cat Side News. During the month of October, you can buy pink ribbons in your advisory for $1 to support women with breast cancer. The advisory with the most ribbons wins free cookies from the Cat Rack. Hey Wildcats, I know sometimes that we can be late to class or to school in general, so let's get a rundown of what we do when we come to the office. First, we wait for Miss Galligan or Mrs. Macklin to let us into the building. Once they let us into the building, they'll give you directions to make an e-hall pass to whatever class you are late to. You'll make the hall pass from the attendance office to your next class. Then you'll write the reason that you're late and wait for Ms. Macklin or Ms. Galligan to approve your pass and tell you that you can go. Once they open the second door, go straight to class and have a nice day, Wildcats. Hey, Novi, with the fall season starting, cider mills are opening back up and people are craving cider and donuts. Let's go ask some teachers about the cider mills they have in mind this year. I'm a big fan of Blake's Cider Mill. I know that's like a common answer, but I really, really, really like driving out, hitting up the corn maze, eating just my weight in donuts, drinking as much cider as humanly possible, you know the whole thing. Favorite cider mill is probably Spicer's Orchard. I think my favorite cider mill is Parmenter's in Northville. Um, it's because it's really cute and it has a river right next to it and they have delicious donuts and cider. Um, I try to go once a year, um, at least once a year, but I'll do other cider mills with my family. Sometimes we go, well, I don't remember the names of them, uh, but I go to a lot of them and haunted houses, lots of haunted houses. We go there at least a couple times in the fall. I think maybe like once a year, maybe like in the fall, Mr. White and I go and visit and it's super fun. Um, probably the eating. If there is an activity any place, and there's food involved, best believe that's the thing I'm gonna be doing. Drinking apple cider and eating donuts. Probably just looking at all the ducks that hang out at the river. They're super adorable. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Novi. Now get out there, get some cider and donuts. This is Luke signing off. Hey Wildcats, Snowboard Cross Race Club is having informational meetings on October 5th, 11th, and 17th. Be sure to check out their Instagram for more information. Hey Novi, the Novi Forensics Club is having their first meeting on October 10th, Tuesday at 2.50 in room 208. They will be discussing the team and activity as a whole and the different events they have planned for this year. Newcomers and returning members are welcomed. For more information, please contact Ms. Scribillo. V has a new student teacher for the orchestra this year. We're going to go interview her. Hey Novi, I'm here with Miss Williams, the new orchestra student teacher. I'm going to be asking her a few questions. What inspired you to become an orchestra teacher? When I was in middle school, I met Mr. Van Isinga at an orchestra camp, and I've met him a couple times over the years and worked. I've met him a couple times over the years and worked with him, and he's just always really inspired me. So he's definitely been one of my main influences. How has it been working with the man who influenced you? It's definitely been a change. I can call him by his first name now. The first time I did that, I was very scared. But yeah, it's. Been been really amazing getting to see him teach beforehand. I've only seen him work with like orchestras. It's really interesting to be in his classroom. What's going on, Novine? Welcome back to Cat Tire Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing Lies of P. Let's get right into it. I think Lies of P is a great Souls. Like, I love Souls like games. Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Elden Ring, Sekiro, great games. I love the genre. It's beautiful. The customization is beautiful. The it, It's just so good. I love the outfits. I love the accessories. I love the weapons and what you can do with it. The way they use elements, I think, is probably the best way that any Souls like has done. I truly believe that, and I just think that a lot of the features within the game are really fun, and I, I really like leveling up. I like getting these new weapons and trying them out. All these things, the bosses are very creative. The worlds, or not worlds, but the lands that you will go to are so beautiful and just completely different and un unique within itself. I would give it a 9 out of 10. We'll see you later, Nova. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. Hey, Hitter Wildcats. Thanks for watching today's episode. 
We'll be back with another episode tomorrow. So stay tuned, Wildcats, and thanks for watching. See you next time, Wildcats.